2022 Mule SX FI XC 4x4 LE, whatever all that means. But today we're going to put a universal jump seat in the back so we can put a couple passengers in the back. This is the Quad Boss brand and it was pretty cost effective on Amazon. It's got all the fit, fit and features that would be better for this very small Kawasaki. So let's get this uh, installed and see how it goes. Here's everything that you get in the box. Got some uh, arm pads for the handrails on the sides. Seat belts with a strap. Some safety straps, a couple nylon straps. Hold down pins for the bottom. These are gonna pin the seat to the floor. And then all kinds of mounting hardware, nuts and bolts, a whole ton of them to put all this together. We got the two pads for the floor, the seat and the seat back, and then all the different pieces here. Looks like an erector set. We'll put this together and prop it up in the seat, figure out where it lays out, and then drill the holes in the bed to bolt it down. All right, so we've got it all assembled. Let's take a look at what we got here. This fits here exactly between the rails. So your pin that releases the seat so it'll fold up is right here in that little gap here between the side rail and the side of the bed. So that pin needs to go in this gap or it won't fit. So I think I could reach in there and remove the pin for when I want to fold the seat up. But this handrail here is really tight and I fit right now. Same thing here, it's really nice and tight at that pin. And I've got it right backed up to the back of the bed of the uh, UTV. But that's basically what it's gonna look like. Seems to be a comfortable looking seat for as small a bed as this is. But boy, it's a really, really tight fit. If it's one more inch, then forget it it's not working. Um, I'm assuming that I can drill straight through here. I gotta lift the bed up and take a look. And if not, then I'm gonna need to move these inward. There are other holes in the railings. Um, you can see one down here that you can shift these in a couple inches on both sides. There's adjustments. So you can choose you know, either that pin that I've got it in there or this hole here. And that just slides everything on the supporting part of the structure in a couple inches. The seat stays in the same spot and everything, but if there's any significant uh, issue drilling down, I might have to move that in. So I'm trying to get the alignment for the tracks in the bottom to figure out where to drill the holes. There's two holes that got to be drilled front and back of the track. Pins will go in here. But what I don't like is it's just too tight on these armrests. It's just too much. So I'm thinking I'm going to lose the armrests and just be done with it because trying to lift the seat up, it's just a really tight squeeze. Those pins really are not going to work. So I think I'm just going to remove them. And then, as far as this goes, looks like 
based on the, the length of these that they, as they give them to you, I'm gonna have to come about an inch off the, the back wall for the holes to line up. So it looks like we've got a good spot in here, be able to drill, and down here also, so we're not going to hit any of these beams, that's what's important. When you drill into this uh, steel, use one of these step drills. These things work great. I mean, you don't have to drill a pilot hole, and you can work your way in and make that hole larger as you continue to push down. These just cut into steel so much easier than trying to use my standard drill bits. I really like these step drills. I've got a couple different sizes now, and for cutting something like this, it's, you can see it's gonna be real easy. There you go, it's all installed. It's in there really well. Feels nice and tight. Um, I like uh, it better with the arms removed because it just flows a lot better, moves up and down easier. Yeah, you can just take it with the strap and attach it there. It's in there pretty good. These pins here, it's probably gonna rattle a little bit, but it doesn't look too, too bad. And I'm gonna keep the seat belt for the grandkids uh, to ride in here. Overall, I like the way that locks in place like that. And um, this is a great fit for this Kawasaki Mule. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Hope this information is useful to you. And as always, have a great day.